Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Exenema. So we're just about to pick a fight with Pole Hammer Guy, and we want to be a little bit careful about this because we don't have any healing, and we need to last through this fight and the fight with uh, that guy with the mask, as well as any other fights that we need to do before we get a green crystal. So try and play this a little bit safe. Hey, buddy. Fancy seeing you here. Speaking of seeing, I'm actually... Come on. Just back up a little bit to a little bit better light area here. Because that armor that he's wearing blends into the darkness. There we go. There we go. Ow. Okay, no permanent damage. We're good. Actually, I think there's a teeny, teeny, teeny little bit of red at the end of our health bar there. But I'm sure we'll live. Hey, level up. There we go. Okay, not too bad. Could have gone better, but all in all, pretty okay. Uh, let's see. Faint, fend, or repost, which is the one that I... I always forget which one I grab. Uh, repost is probably good for a two-hander. Now, need the token off of this guy. Thank you. Uh, I am going to... Which one of these swords am I... Oh, I don't have a secondary weapon. Okay. Well, we want to hang on to the torch, and we want to hang on to one of the one-handed swords. Any difference between these two? Yeah, this one does a little bit more damage. Okay, so... I think that one's not the Proctor Sword. I'm pretty sure this is the Proctor Sword, but whatever. No big deal. And that should give us room for a third pole hammer in our inventory. <laughs> Just casually lugging three of those around in a halberd. Alright, now, let's go all the setup that we need to do to fight that guy with the mask properly. Oh, I see one of them is roaming around over there. Uh, it is the guy with the shield. Shoot. Alright, I was kind of hoping to avoid fighting them. Um, but I also need to check the rooms because we need to make sure we don't miss any green crystals. So we're just going to have to hit this dude with our sword. It's less than ideal, but not the end of the world. You know, assuming he doesn't beat me up. Get him while he's down. Get swing. Okay, I guess that works. I think my sword got kind of tangled up in him there. Oh, there's the phone again. Okay, good. Phone stopped ringing. Well, that's that sorted out. Now, there's only the guy with the spear left who... I guess we don't really need to bother locking in a room. He's not that much of a threat. 
You can probably just beat him up. Well, once we find him, he's wandering around somewhere. I definitely do want to take care of him before we try and fight the dude with the mask, because the dude with the mask is tough, and I really don't want a second person joining in that fight. Hello? How do you compare to these? A little bit better across the board, and slightly... Well, I guess it makes sense they're a bit lighter. Alright, ditch those. Hopefully we'll get some boots or something later. Actually, we can steal some boots off of these guys, probably, but I hear... Footsteps. Where are ya? There you are. Okay, cool. Come back here. Just fight me in a little well-lit area. Ow! There. Just beat him up. Get inside his reach and wail on him. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take your boots for a minute there, pal. Hope you don't mind. We'll probably, eh, if we beat the guy with the mask, we might get a better pair. I don't, I don't actually think his armor was all that good, though. I can't remember. Ooh. This is the electric mace. Oh, we don't have any blue crystals, though. Shoot. Okay, but we really want this. Uh, alright. Ditch this halberd. Get rid of that. We, this is gonna really help us fight the golems, if we can find a blue crystal for it. I did not realize that was a random item. Did I just miss that last time? Or is that actually just good luck that it spawned here? I assumed we had to find that somewhere. Orange crystal, that doesn't help us, but whatever. And some very nice armor. Which might be better than what we're currently wearing. Yeah, none of our stuff is superior. Alright, so I'll take this. Put that on. Uh, I'll leave this stuff in our inventory for the moment, because we might find an individual part that is better than this that we want to wear instead. Um, particularly arm guards, because that's where we tend to take most of our hits. It's like the upper arm and the upper leg. Okay. That is, I think, all the containers outside of Mask Guy's room. So let's kindly unlock the door for him. Doki. Come at me. There we go. Okay. Just waiting for Yeah, his armor looks kinda drunk, but fortunately, that's not really what we're fighting for. That actually wasn't too bad. Alright, I am gonna borrow this. We have nothing to put- oh, I'm gonna ditch- you know, it's screwed. We'll just ditch that. Grab that, thank you. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with his axe, because our inventory is already full of weapons, but I should just have this equipped, because I am probably gonna need it at some point. You know, I'm actually thinking about it, I'm unlikely to need this during a fight. I think I'm actually better off leaving the torch in my bag and swapping to it if I, you know, when I need it to look around a room. And that way I don't risk accidentally dropping it if I get, you know, knocked out by somebody. So I'll just leave the one-handed sword as my, uh, as my secondary for now, just so I don't accidentally lose any of our pole hammers that we've been collecting. Parchments we've already read, cabinets have nothing in them, shoot. Hmm have the fancy mace, but no power for it. Oh, we're gonna get a power cell, though, when we, when we, um, oh, wait, no, we're not. That was, that was in the last patch, wasn't it? Shoot. All right, well, there have to be some somewhere around here. Let's just go turn off this real quick. There we go. Now I can get through that hallway. 
Hello, green crystal. I will take you. Actually, we can put all these in a bag to save ourselves some carry weight. Green, orange. Because we don't need any of them immediately, right? We're not going to need them in an emergency. I don't, I don't think. And another orange one. Okie dokie. And this should be the door to the golem labs, which is, I guess, where we want to go now. Um, really just to take a look around for extra crystals and any more upgraded gear before we pick the two fights that we're looking for. And then we really gotta decide whether we want to fight the two golems uh, guarding that one door first, or whether we want to fight Big Blue first. Because if we beat Big Blue, we'll get the really fancy armor, which will make fighting the other golems much easier. Um, but there could also be something on the other side of the other door that will make fighting Big Blue easier. So, decisions, decisions. We'll see, though. We'll see what our, uh, what our gear looks like when we're done checking out this place. Hello, skeleton with a spear. Come over here and fight me. the same boots, aren't they? I thought his boots looked different for a second, but no luck. Hey, second green crystal. Good find. Alright, so we've got a reasonable amount of healing now, and we haven't taken all that much damage, so we're in pretty good shape, assuming we can not, you know, screw up any of the fights with the little guys roaming around this area. Oh, yes, blue crystal. Take that. I don't know if that's one that will slot into our mace. Hi, I don't want to fight you in this little alcove here. So let me see if I can get you to back up a bit. Or if I can let you, or see if you'll let me just step out of here. I should zoom the camera and I can barely see what's going on. Boom, double hit, took him down. That was, both of those hits unarmored, I think. Okay, two guys down. And shields are a problem, so any shield guy that's down is a good thing. Now, I think we gotta check this last little office here. Yes, more blue crystals. Fantastic. Hey, there's the fancy helmet. I guess we will leave that here. Because our inventory is actually very full. Actually, can I put that in a bag? I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. No. Yeah, I think we'll just leave that. It's a nice helmet, but really, we may as well just keep the night vision one on. Hmm. Someone's playing around with doors. Open up. Come out of here. Or I'll come in here, I guess. Ooh. Another shield guy. It's very good with his shield, though. And I am 100% okay with that. too much trouble. He's got a very nice shield that I'm not going to bother with, um, and nothing else of value. Alright, I should actually get my torch up for this room, because it's not particularly well lit. And I'd like a better look at if there's anything on these shelves, or if there's any containers. Ah, there we go. It's empty. 
it's got a fairly decent hat in it. And it's got a Zweihander, which I don't really want. Okay. Good to know. Just wait for my character to stop moving so I can put the torch away. Okay, so this is Big Blue's room. Or, beyond this is Big Blue's room. So, we'll leave that for a moment. Just gotta look around a little bit more. I guess what we're really hunting for right now... Well, better boots would be nice. But what we're really looking for is more... Uh, blue or green crystals. Because uh, the blue crystals do drain when you put them in the weapon. And also when you have them in the armor, I think. I think they only drain in the armor if you're getting hit. So as long as we don't get hit, we should be fine. You know, once we have the armor. Ow. Jerk. Wow. I did not expect that to kill him. Okay. And this should be the armory, full of shields. I don't want any of those. Um, we did, I remember finding a box with actually the like upper body armor that we're wearing right now in it. So not sure what we'll find in there this time. I think it was in this corner, one of these cabinets. Nothing, nothing. And a regular army cap. Okay, that's fair. But also more hammers. I don't really have room for more hammers, though. I think I think three pole hammers and the the sparky mace should be enough. At least I hope. If not, we can find our way back here later. Hey, superior plate armor. We are wearing exceptional. No, nope, also superior. Okay, so no change there. Uh, ooh, Superior Gamison. I think we're already wearing a Superior Gamison, but I can never remember. So I'm just going to throw this on real quick. Oh, we're actually wearing a regular Gamison. Huh, there you go. We got an upgrade. And what's in this box? Nothing. Alright, I think that might be everything in this area that we've checked. So, how about we... Go take a crack at Big Blue once real quick before I end here. Okay. Well, we've got the one blue crystal. Oh, no, we've got two blue crystals. We've got the fancy mace, which is what we want to use for this fight. So, let me just... Nope. Open the mace. Thank you. Uh, does this actually saw it in there? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you can see it sparking. Um, I feel like I'm I'm trying to remember this from like the last playthrough, but I think the one that's in the casing can be recharged somehow, or recharges itself over time, and the regular ones just drain. But I might be wrong about that. Either way, I'm gonna try the one in the casing first. All right, here goes. Uh, here's nothing, I guess. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna leave the door open. He's not gonna. He's not gonna leave the room. How about thee? Ow. Ow. Okay, well that seems to have drained the energy already. I guess we'll out. Find out if it comes back. Ow. Oh, well, there's our... Okay. Oh, I'm flying. Whoa. Oh, I landed on my feet. Solid. Ow. Okay. Hey, it recharged. Fantastic. I was right. Oh, that looked like it hurt. 
Shoot. Alright, well, that wasn't too, too bad. Uh, although our mace is now at the opposite end of the room. So I guess we can try and pick it up. Um, that is going to have to wait, though, because I am all out of time for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.